So, how's it going guys? Shade here, back with another video, and today I just really wanted to uh, make some videos on Master Duel. Um, the new Snake Eyes stuff has come out, along with some Infernoble support, and as someone that has played Infernoble for a lot of time, uh, be it online, be it... Uh, I actually ended up um, playing um, IRL as well, so... Yeah, I just love the deck and I wanted to uh, do a video on it since it's releasing now on Master Duel and just wanted to show a few uh, possible deck lists and combos. So yeah, if you guys enjoy these uh, Master Duel videos, I might make a few more. So yeah, let's just get into it. So um, firstly, let's start with uh, the one card combo, the Neo Space Connector combo. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you're going to um, normal summon connector, get dolphin, and now dolphin effect can look at your opponent's hand so that you can get rid of Nash, uh, Droll, uh, or something like that, and you see what your opponent has and how you can uh, absolutely play into it. Um, so now then we are going to go into uh, Ice Hold, Ice Hold effect, you're going to search for something that you're not going to use this turn, so we're going to get another connector for next turn. And this is going to activate uh, High Sold. We're going to mill four uh, equips, uh, including a Jellix Ring. And we're going to get uh, ourselves Hogir. Hogir on summon is going to uh, Foolish the Ricardetto. And we can link three into the Promethean. And we can use Promethean to revive Ricardetto. And on summon, Ricardetto can revive the Ogier. Now we can Synchro 5 into Angelica, and Angelica effect purchase uh, the museum, and we can use Ogier targeting the Angelica so that it activates to banish Foolishes and Oliver, and we get ourselves the Synchro Tuner Roland. Now we can go um, on Noble Arms Museum, you activate, pay, uh, you pay your life points and you get yourself the Randall. You can equip the Durandal and activate its effect to search the Turpin. And it needs to be done absolutely this way. And now you equip Oliver. And you go Turpin, Special Summon. Uh, because this way you can keep Turpin in the graveyard so that you can have more uh, uh, equips. So that uh, you can uh, have enough to go for the full combo. And now you can just Synchro into Charles. You equip something, uh, and now Charles will trigger to pop uh, the uh, Promethean Princess. Uh, just because we need the space in the zones. So we're going to go in Charles, uh, effect, get the other one. And you're going to use the museum to summon the Synchro. And we equip with another one, because this was the last one. Because we used Ogier for the combo, use this to summon the Turpin. And we equip, um, we use Roland to make the first link. So now we need absolutely to combo in this way to make this uh, work. So now we make the second uh, Charles. And now, wait, you get um, the other one. You go into end phase, and now end phase affects uh, the Charles that uh, has the, um, the synchro equipped with, activates, and it gets Smogus from the deck and the Agelix rings. And it needs to be this one, because this one has an equip card, so it is um, able to be equipped with Angelic Ring, because it says equip only to a monster with you control equipped with an equip card. So uh, only because it is equipped with the Charles, it can e be equipped with Angelic Ring. So now, uh, of course, also um, the uh, Angelica will come back, and you basically have two spell trap negates, uh, with uh, both Charles. Uh, you have a pop by uh, quick equipping uh, the Roland onto one of the Charles, which is our third negate, uh, third disruption. Uh, our fourth disruption is the Angelix Ring uh, spell negate. And the fifth disruption is going to be the Promethean on the graveyard. We just, uh, it's just going to target, for example, Angelic or something, special summon and pop something. So, uh, yeah, we have three spell negates, uh, one. Uh, one pop quick effect and one pop when your opponent special summons. 
And one cool thing is, if Promethean targets uh, the Angelica, Angelica can tag out since it's been targeted, uh, which is quite nice because you always keep the level 5 body and keep filling your graveyard with uh, the good Infernobles that equip from there, which is really nice. This is your one card combo, you do all of this off of just one connector and you get a connector for next turn. Now, uh, the two card combo you just need anyway to get um, just any uh, two Infernobles on the board um, without using uh, Richardo, uh, Richardetto, and one of them needs to be a level 4. So I'm doing Oliver Press Hojir right here. You just normal Hojir effect, and this time we're gonna send Turpin. Turpin effect to equip, and we're gonna use Oliver to send the Turpin that is equipped to summon itself. We have two uh, warriors, so we can just link into Isold. Isold effect is gonna search the new space connector. And now we can use uh, High Sold. We're gonna send the Angelic Ring for Richardetto. Ricardetto special summons the level 4. And we are warrior locked, so we just know we don't go into Promethean, just go into normal um, Angelica plays. BM. Oliver effects are gonna target uh, the Angelica, so Angelica will tag out. We're gonna dump the um, Immortal Gearfried and get the Captain Roland. We're going to use the Museum right now to get the Durandal. We're going to equip the Durandal and we're going to use Turpin on the Graveyard to Special Summon. And now we can use the Durandal to search, so we're going to get the Renault for ourselves. And we can Synchro 9. Turpin gets banished because it's a Special Summon from the Graveyard. We go into the Synchro 9. We equip something, so uh, this time it shouldn't be Ogier right here, it should be uh, Roland, because we want to keep Roland the Graveyard, so yeah. We don't equip Ogier, we equip Roland in this part. Uh, I just forgot doing this quiz, this um, combo and I uh, uh, equipped Ogier two times. Uh, so now we go into the Charles, equip, and we're going to use Museum to Special. We're going to use Renaud, Special, grab the Immortal Phoenix. We're going to Synchro 10 into Baron, because Baron is a warrior. We are a wa warrior locked, not fire warrior locked, so he can absolutely go into Baron. And now we're going to use Ogier to equip to the Charles. Needs to be the Charles, because otherwise you can't get the Angelic Ring in the end phase. And now Immortal Phoenix Gearfried banishes the Durandal to special summon itself. And you have on end phase the Charles effect for Angelic Ring and the Mogus. And uh, of course the Angelica also comes back. So you have five disruptions, because once again you have three disruptions on Charles being the two spell negates on Angelic and himself, and the pop on Roland. We have one negate on uh, Gearfried, and we have one negate on Baron. So, uh, uh, yeah, we have one monster negate, two spell negates, one omni negate, and one pop uh, off of one card. So, yeah, let's go now into the third combo, which uses the new. Snake Eye stuff. So uh, in this example, I start with a Sublimation Knight, but you can also make it work with uh, just trying into anything uh, like Heritage, uh, Durandal, Rhoda. Just you just need access to Sublimation Knight plus uh, the Wanted or um, the Die Bell Star. So on the dropways, we go Wanted again, the Die Bell Star. We discard one random card from our hand to summon the Die Bell. Diabell effect sets the original scene to the spoils. We can normal summon Sublimation Knight equipped with Turpin. It needs to be Turpin because Turpin, when it's equipped to a monster, uh, the equipped monster can be used as tuner if it's used as synchro material. This is a level 3 tuner now. We can go into Baron. And our Turpin effect can equip to the Baron so that now we have a face up card to send for the uh, original. Summon Ricardetto, and Ricardetto summons Turpin from the graveyard. And we go for Angelica, Angelica effect gets the no uh, Noble Arms Museum. Museum gets the Randall. And right here you want to use uh, the Randall on anything. Uh, and you special summon Turpin from the graveyard. So now you can use the Randall, search or not, pop. And go Renaud, summon, effect, and get back to the Randall. 
uh, because the Rindle can also can actually be activated multiple times. So you can try to equip multiple times, but you cannot use the effects multiple times. So uh, you can equip as much as we want. So if you Renov, add back the Rindle, even though its effects uh, are not activable, you can still equip to Angelica, for example, so that you can trigger effect to tag out, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to try to equip her with an equip spell. She's going to tag out and dump Oliver to go into Roland. Now we can use these two into High Sold because we are missing some equip spells that we want to have access to. So we go High Sold Effect. We search the connector for next turn and we use High Sold Effect. And uh, for either uh, misclicked and send uh, the Joyous, the Joyous should not be there. I Okay, so uh, you just want to send Angelic plus three randoms. Uh, and I like to send like the Durandal so that I can like keep uh, the better ones uh, for next turn since you know you will have a, a filled graveyard. The Joyous is going to be better than like the Durandal. Um, so yeah, and you special summon um, the Ogier. Ogier effect is going to mill something. So we're going to go for Mogus. And actually, you can go Mogus effect right here so that we can. Get a, a draw during our turn and during your opponent's turn. So uh, we are gonna get back uh, the Turpin and the double the Randall that we have in our graveyard, and we're gonna get, draw one random, which I'm gonna represent by the trolls. Uh, and now you can use the level four and the five synchro into the nine, and Oliver equips, go into the link, Charles effect equips, museum to special the synchro. And now we use the other one to equip and go for, to the link again. And we can use Mogus to equip to the other one. So we still have Mogus for next turn to draw again. And we go um, use Wanted because we have a free draw with Wanted. And we get another random. We go end phase, we get the Angelic's Ring, and we can get a Turpin, uh, for example, for next turn. Uh, it's cool to have him in the graveyard sometimes. And Angelica comes back, and that's everything. So off of two cards and one discard, we got uh, Baron on third summon, so we are playing under Droll and under Nibiru, uh, which is also one disruption. And we have our four disruptions on the Charles, because we have a double spell negate, another spell negate on Angelic, and the one pop, since we have rolling the graveyard. Um, and we got two draws, one off of Mogus, which is also set up for next turn, so it's going to be three draws, uh, because Mogus is going to draw next turn as well. And we got another one from Wanted, plus a surge for next turn, so we got two cards on our starter hand, plus a, a random. And we got three cards for next turn or end traps to interrupt your opponent. And a full board of five interruptions. And yeah, that's basically it for the combos. As you see, uh, the deck is quite consistent. Um, we are playing 44 cards, which is actually quite nice since you have a lot of like equips that are uh, mandatory to play. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can like cut DDR and Living Fossil, but you need a certain number of equips. So I feel felt like having this that could also be okay to draw into uh, would be quite nice. So let's just get into it. Uh, so first of all, we have one of each of the Infernobles uh, for everyone except Astolfo because there is no space for Astolfo in here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she cannot make the cut. There's not much to say about any of these. These are all the good Infernobles. You just have Ogier because it foolishes. Oliver's free special summon. Turpin just special summons from hand as well and also equips. Mog is equipped as well and just gets us um, to recycle our resources. Uh, Ricardetto just extends our play, especially with the Unwanted Engine. Really, really nice. And Renaud just recycles everything as well. Uh, equip spells or just gets us a gear freed for uh, our plays. Really, really nice. And of course, gear freed because some boards you can just make him and it's a really good uh, monster negate. 
uh, which can also like go into boards really well because uh, on attack you can like equip a monster from your opponents, which is really nice. Um, then of course spells are all our like best cards, so we just play triple museum because this card is insane. It does not hurt to draw into multiples at all. Uh, you, of course, you don't want to draw into three because you want to search one off of a Angelica, but they are never bad because you can at least just keep searching your um, Infernoble Arms equips. You can keep using its effects to special summon from the equip zone, uh, equi equip spells. So really, really nice. Museum is insanely broken. As long as you have life points for it, it's really strong. Uh, triple Heritage because it searches basically everything. Searches every Infernoble monster searches the museum, searches the uh, Infernoble equ equip spells, so just really, really nice. Uh, it also adds from the graveyard, so really, really good as well to uh, recycle some resources. And then equip spells, I decide to play two, the Randall, one Almas, one Joyous. You can't get access to Angelic Ring, the next best thing to equip is Almas, because it like recycles a fire from a uh, fire warrior from your graveyard back to your hand for next turn, which is really good. And also just, uh, it gets you to every equip that you want, if it's equipped to something and you want to get, I don't know, uh, you can get either a Durandal or a Joyous. This is basically the third Durandal and the second Joyous all at the same time, which is really nice, and the second effect is insane. Uh, and Joyous, uh, once again, can also, like, um, add back monsters in our graveyard during our turn, which can be really good to extend, really nice. And then we play Angelic Ring because this card is insane, it just gives us another interruption. Can negate Super Poly, it can negate Dark Ruler, it's really, really strong. Really strong, I love this card. Um, and then, yeah, I just decided to put the Iron Living Fossil because you need a certain number of equip spells so that if you draw into one of them, it doesn't make your combos dead because you need all. You need to, most times, Isolde for four, so if you, like... Drawing, to, for example, an Almas uh, with only uh, these four different spells, it's basically dead, you know? So I like playing six different spells and the second Randall. Uh, it's really, really nice. Then, of course, we have Triple Connector because it's the most powerful normal summon in this deck. Really insane. Allows us to play uh, through things like Droll so easily. Uh, it's just it's old by itself, which is really nice. And, of course, Dolphin. Really, really good card. Uh, even sometimes if you normal summon it, if you have an extender, like if you have a Fire Flint Lady next to it, it's really, really cool because you can just normal summon it, look at your opponent's hand, if they have Droll, you just sack them off of the Droll and you can combo off after, which is really nice. Uh, the One Solar Nation Light for, uh, plays with the Black Witch, which gives you like uh, really, really, really good plays into uh, end traps, plays under Drolls and Bureau, really, really nice. And the one Fire Flint Lady, because sometimes it might be good to have, like, just a level 1 extender uh, that is a warrior, just so that you can go for things like Isolde, for example. Uh, the one Rota, to just search everything, every piece in this deck. He searches the connector, he searches any Infernoble. Just broken. And then we have the Snake Eyes Engine. Uh, one Die Bell Star, three Wanted, one Snake uh, Original Sinful Spoils, because this card... Uh, this engine is just so, so, so good, since Ricardetto is such a strong uh, monster. Uh, as, as long as you open Die Bellstar plus, like, any level 4 warrior, it's full combo uh, by yourself, so that's really, really nice. Uh, of course, it gets better uh, as long as, you know, you get, uh, like, the Soul Mation Knight alongside, so that you can just sing off with her before you go into those plays, but it's really, really nice. And then we have some non-engine uh, 12 cards, uh, just triple maxi, triple droll because super heavy samurai is a thing, a triple ash because it helps against maxi, uh, double call by one cross out designator again because of maxi, and fortunately maxi is just uh, too strong uh, to not play cards that answer him. And then extra deck you just play the one Angelica because it's needed for the combo, just like Roland and Charles, you don't want to see more than one, but they are absolutely necessary at one for the combos. Uh, then we have the one Baron, because sometimes you can make it on our handboard, sometimes you can make it before to protect our play, so that's really, really nice. Uh, then we have the two uh, Charles, uh, you don't really need a third one at all, you just make two 
uh, all the time and really really nice you don't really need anything more then you play the one is only um because it's broken uh you most certainly don't need the second if this resolves it's more than enough to win the game by itself uh you don't really need anything else at all uh, like yeah this by itself wins the game uh as long as you get i sold uh, to i sold and i sold resolves uh, you win you have full combo so like it's broken broken card but i don't really feel like the second is necessary and that opens up so that we have lots and lots of space right now for um uh, some nice options because the only other thing that's mandatory in here is the Promethean because it allows us to have the um, the one card combo uh, play so we have like seven slots that are open for anything uh, which is really nice and so I decided to play the one IP because sometimes depending on the non-engine you have you can like make this before you are warrior locked so that uh, you can like make something like uh, unicorn in your opponent's turn or something like that. It's just extra interruptions, which is nice. Uh, then you have the one heater because fire decks are popping up right now. And it's just so it can help you break boards. You can just use this and just go straight into Promethean and summon something. And probably try to OTK with the Zealantis package, uh, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, you have the unicorn because unfortunately SP is not in the game. Uh, the one slain because it can threaten, uh, threaten into access code again also with the heater for example if you played uh, with the dive l star or if you used uh, droll uh, the one promethean i it's mandatory to play because of the new space uh, connector combo uh, one amble whale because sometimes being on our hand we can go into promethean into amble whale uh, or you know just some other place, uh, you could probably cut this off. I don't really feel like this is necessary, but uh, Promethean into Amblo Whale is also good because of the Zilantis, so that you can just Amblo Whale into the Zilantis and go for an OTK line. It will come up, honestly. Uh, it has come up for me. Uh, so, yeah, we just keep in mind Amblo Whale is going to be necessary as long as Zilantis is here. Uh, but if you don't want to play Zilantis, you can absolutely cut both of them. Uh, might even be uh, able to, like, in an Appaloosa for when you go IP so that you, get, that you have even more interruptions, which is quite nice. And yet the last card that we are missing here is the access code because it threatens OTK as well. Really, really nice card. Uh, and yeah, that's it for um, for uh, the deck profile. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like Master Duel videos, I'll probably be doing a few more as well. Um, if you did, drop your like. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions for me. Uh, subscribe never miss any of my future videos. And that's going to be it. I'll see you guys next time.